Hello everybody! It's so nice to see you, well, in these videos and to get your work on Google Classroom. Well, I've got some more maths problems for anyone who wants to have a go using multiplication and division and building up some really important things that we're going to use in year five and year six a lot more. So, first question, what is the quick way to know how many circles there are in this array? Well, let's look at that word, an array. An array in maths is when we have set something out in rows. Now remember, rows go across, and that's the word for that is rows go horizontally. And each row must have the same number of things in it, and it's set out in rows going across and columns going down. So the rows have all have the same amount in and the columns all have the same amount in. So columns go down vertically. So do I need to count them all one by one to know how many there are? I could do. There's a better way to do it isn't there? Look, first of all for an array I'm going to count across in the row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in the first row. What shall I do now? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, okay, six. Six and six. So I could do six, add six, add six, add six. But when I'm adding the same number every time, I can use multiplication. The same number, however many times. Times multiplication. What number is the same? Six. How many times is it six? Oh, four. We could say it's four times six, or the number six, four times. And look, we've got a formula here we can use for an array, which is, if I just now count, one, two, three, four, five, six, going, oops, sorry guys, six going across, six across, and one, two, three, four, up and down, actually, it's, the formula is, well, it's six times four, it's how many columns times how many rows, isn't it? It's the rows times the columns. Uh, formula. The rows times the columns tells us how many there are all together. And we're going to use that in a slightly trickier puzzle. Now, oh, hold up. I have 24 counters. I put them out in an array. Each row has the same number of counters. There are five more rows than there are columns. How many rows and columns are there? Now remember what we said about an array. The formula for an array is the number of rows times the number of columns tells us how many things there are in the whole array. So here it's something times something equals 24. It's the number of rows times the number of whoops, columns must give us 24 counters. What do I mean by that? Well, let's imagine that I had two rows. One two rows, then now I've got one, two, two times two, that's not 24, three times two, no, hold on, we don't want to do it like that either, we're thinking of a number times a number to make 24, well, we can use our times tables, can't we, one times 24, one row, 24 columns, 24. Two rows, 
12 columns. That's 24. Three rows, eight columns, 24 counters. But I've forgotten the second part of my question. There are five more rows than there are columns. That means the difference between the two numbers is five, isn't it? One row, two columns. There's 23 is the difference between them. Two rows, 12 columns, 24. Three rows and eight columns. The difference is five, but our question says there are five more rows than there are columns. Well, yeah, there are five more columns than there are rows, so I don't think that can be right either. But I know what to do now. Multiplication is commutative. Three times eight is 24, so eight times three is 24. Eight rows, three columns, 24 counters altogether. Five more rows than there are columns. We need to use our times tables and work through it and see when we get to however many more rows than there are columns. OK, now in the link I've put some questions at level one and then also some trickier questions. Hope you enjoy them. Looking forward to seeing your answers. Bye!